Well, hello guys. I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to talk about my interview experience in Apple London and Google Warsaw. So let me start with Apple London first because that was the first company I applied. I applied for Apple around the end of March and and I got the uh, reply back in the first week of the April. So the recruiter reached out to me about my experiences, like what kind of work I do at Media.net and all, and then. He asked me when I will be available for the first round. So the first round was hiring manager round. So this uh, hiring was not company wide. It was not a general hiring. Rather, it was a team specific uh, hiring. The team was called AMP Apple Media Products, and the manager was based in USA. So the first round was about hiring manager round. The manager was going to ask me what kind of if my experience or if my knowledge. Is matching with what they want is matching with their requirement or not so i just quickly give give the availability for the next week that i am available this friday you can have a meeting with with the hiring manager so i had a hiring manager around and he asked me a question about what i uh, am working at media, media.net so fortunately enough i was working in data infra team where i used i was involved in uh, Hadoop ecosystem, big data ecosystem, and they were working in the same field as well. Then the manager asked me a question about what I worked at Google Summer of Code, what kind of technology I learned, what kind of language I was using then, and and what what was the project in CERN. Uh, after like 35, 30 minutes, the hiring manager uh, talked a lot about their team, like what kind of product they are working on, what kind of advan advancement, and what kind of project they are going to deal in the next half and the manager also explained his expectation from from new hires so where the, if i am hired where i would fit in the team what kind of project i would deal with so this is how the hiring manager round looked like it's always best to uh, it's always be best to take 5 minutes from your manager uh, when from hiring manager or from any uh, interview round to ask a few questions from yourself, like to the interviewer, like what kind of project you are going to deal with, how it's going to impact the company, how it's going to impact, uh, how it's imp going to impact users who are using Apple products, and if you're hired, where, what kind of project you would deal with, what kind of uh, responsibilities you will have when you are the part of the team. So you can you can ask these kind of questions. I ask these kind of questions, and. That's it, the uh, first round ended. The next day I got the call from the recruiter that I, uh, they are applying for the screening round. So the screening round was about coding round. Since I signed non-disclosure agreement, I cannot disclose what kind of question was it, but you can say like it was more of a lead code type question, DSLGO plus scripting. And then I passed that round. And after that, uh, I got the call uh, from the recruiter in a week that I passed that round and they are happy to move for the next on-site round. Since this was an on-site round, but it was more of a virtual on-site round because of pandemic, if it was not pandemic, if you are applying for international position, the company had to travel to the offices and then interview happens in the office itself. Since what it was a pandemic, everything happened virtually and they asked me uh, what are the time availability since I was based in India and the interviewers were based in London and USA. So there was a huge time difference. There were five rounds. So for that reason, it was not possible to pull out all the round, all the five rounds in a, in a day because of the huge time difference. So I separated in two days. That was, that's what my recruiter suggested. So I went for like Thursday and Friday. It was like, uh, they asked me a question about system systems as in operating systems, networking, system designing system design the infra, how the infrastructure should look like if they gave me a scenario and the question around large distributed systems since i was working with a uh, big data ecosystem they also asked me a question about hadoop kafka droid and hive hbase what are these technologies how how do you make things reliable in this ecosystem and there were a few questions around security part as well like how you make uh, make our infrastructure more secure. This is how my site reliability engineer at Apple London uh, interview ended. 
I got positive reviews from the interviews. Also, so so I queued up multiple I queued up multiple interviews. So first Apple London and then Facebook and then Google. So when I was Apple interview Apple interview was going to end, Facebook started, and when Facebook interview was ending, Google Poland Google Warsaw interview started. Let me share my experience about Google Warsaw experience Google Warsaw interview as well. So for Google Warsaw, I got referral from one of my ex company senior. I was working at Google Google Dublin, and he referred me for SWE SRE. So basically, when when you're applying for uh, Google in SRE field, so there are two basically two roles. When you apply for SRE role, the recruiter will ask you if you want to apply for SWE or SE. SWE SRE or SE SRE. So it's something like software engineers SRE and systems engineer and SRE. So there are like two different flavors for SREs in Google. So if you are more into software development, you go for SWE SRE. And if you are more into systems, more more core infrastructure, so you go for SE SRE. SE SRE are involved into core networking infrastructure part, development of that. And SWE are mostly into developing tools which automates manual work. So I uh, I applied for SWE SRE and Google's interview experience was very smooth. And they give you a portal on that you you can track all your progress like where you are right now are you on screening the screening step are you on on site strip so everything will be there on that portal so and also the all the meet, meet links will be available there so when i reached out for, when i got reached out from my recruiter she asked me like a few questions it was very easy like uh, uh questions like very simple questions uh like in C++ and DS and Algo, very simple questions, one word type. So you don't have to answer all of those questions correctly, but at least you have to pass the bar. So once the recruiter sees that you have passed the bar, she will ask you the availability for screening round. So when you apply for SWE SRE, there are uh, coding round, screening coding round. On onsite round, you also have uh, coding, uh, operating system, networking, and system design, and then Googliness. So I give the availability for my screening down, coding screening down. Since this is a SWE SRE, you will expect DS algo, uh, code DS algo questions. So on the day of screening down, I was asked a few DS algo questions. Again, because of NDA that I signed, I cannot disclose what kind of question it was, but I can say it was more of a lead code type question, and it was involving more of a lead code type question. Uh, you can say medium, not much hard, but medium kind of type of question. And there were a few follow-ups as well. So you get 45 minutes in this round to solve solve one or two questions you expect it to solve one or two questions if it if, if it's just one question you will be expected to solve the follow-up questions as well so i solved the uh, first question quickly and then there were follow-ups and in follow-ups i there were few hiccups which i could not solve the uh, problem quickly but eventually i was able to give efficient solution and code it for that then after a day, or, uh, then after two days, I got the uh, feedback from feedback from my recruiter. The best part of Google was that either you do well or bad in the interview, you will get the proper feedback from them that you have done well or you have done bad in this area. So that's the be best part. So the recruiter reached out to me and and she said that you have done well, but there were a few hiccups in your uh, uh, there were a few hiccups in your coding part, like in the in the last. And which I agreed to that point. So she asked me like, we are we we are planning to go for another screen down. So we went for another screen down. Since it was quite late, since I I got offer from uh, Facebook already, and I was busy with my visa process, so I ended up not uh, going through the next round of Google. Since I was traveling from my hometown to uh, Kolkata for my degree retrieval, and then I was traveling to Bangalore for my visa process, so. For that reason, when I, while I was traveling, I did not do good in my uh, interview, and then I got the rejection from Google. And I did not talk about like what happened with Apple. So Apple sent me a mail after a few days, after a few weeks that I got rejected. Uh, they did not give me proper feedback, but they said that they found a better candidate than me. So. This is the experience I got from Apple and Google Warsaw. This is the story how I moved from India to different country, which involved 
few rejections like i got rejected from apple then i got offer from facebook and then i got rejected from google again anyways uh i hope you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can so they can also get inspired about sre role for applying in big companies like this uh, do let me know in the comments if you have any questions if this video helped you or not if this video helped you do subscribe to this channel because you will get more videos like this until then bye bye see you in the next video